Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we are going to discuss the way to deal the divorce case. How to deal your divorce case is the topic which is which which is to be discussed in this video. Generally speaking, it is not advisable to the parties to go for a divorce. Misunderstanding, difference of opinion is common to the husband and wife. Even if you are uh, lovers or even if you are uh, very close relatives or even if you are uh, very perfect persons, the misunderstanding and the difference of opinion between the husband and wife is unavoidable. Every husband and wife have misunderstanding a difference of opponent in the day to day life if you see the elders or if you see any couples you can f you can find the difference of opinion in their daily life every day they will have a difference of opinion every day they will have a uh, misunderstanding but anyhow they will adjust with each other uh, they will have good understanding and they will resolve the disputes misunderstanding and ultimately they will be in a position to com uh, to com they will be in a position they will comfortably run their family life without any separation or divorce generally speaking we should avoid divorce divorce is not is not a solution it's not a uh, uh, say it is a most un, uh, most avoid uh, the most uh, avoidable one you should at any cost you should try to avoid divorce you should going for a divorce that is the best way even the mr prophet muhammad has said the uh, one uh, which is totally unliked by allah is divorce he said allah doesn't like divorce and he is the most hatred thing the most most hatred thing of allah is divorce so in our life we should every people should avoid divorce but in cases where the party decided to go for a divorce uh, they feel that they cannot run their family life uh, they cannot continue their life as husband and wife and they wanted to go for a divorce my humble advice is that they have to put an end to their life to their marriage marriage life in an amicable manner in most of the cases the husband or wife approaching the court for divorce and the matter is uh, pending for years in some cases it takes even 5 years 10 years and 20 years even after the 10 of 10 20 years the parties are not able to resolve the misunderstanding resolve the dispute and the matter is unnecessarily dragged down pending for years because of which they are wasting not only their money but also their life energy everything what is the use of uh, in dragging the case we should you unnecessarily drag the case most of the th people are blaming the court the court is not passing on the orders disposing the matters in time it takes long time it is unnecessarily there is a, like what they are blaming advocates or blaming the court and the officers and systems strictly speaking it is not in the hands of the court it is in the hands of the parties see it is your life you should think about your life Who, who will think about your welfare? You cannot expect the court, or you cannot expect the court officer or advocate to think about your life or to, to think about your welfare. You are the best man to judge your life, career, future, everything. In most of the cases, the reason for the divorce is vengeance. you have tortured me so i will not allow you to lead a peace of life like what every husband or every 
wife who is fighting in the court thinks i will not allow you have tortured me i will not allow you to go for another marriage you spoil my life i will not allow you to go on go for another married life like what they are people are thinking and their people are taking vengeance as against each other what is the use what is the use in harassing your opponent what is the use in harassing your husband or wife by way of taking vengeance there is no use to you right you can have a feel that i have tortured him i have given a trouble to him what is the use what do you what are the benefit you are going to get i think you will not get anything just for the sake of your what uh, nothing most of the cases is pending because of this vengeance because of this uh, bad attitudes of the people parties in some cases wives takes a vengeance saying that i will not allow you to get a divorce and i will see that you will not get a divorce you will not get married and you will not have a new life in some cases husband cases take vengeance and they wanted to you trouble they don't want to leave the leave her wife to go on uh, go on go, go for another marriage they wanted to torture they want they do not they do not want to give a divorce they wanted the matter to be pending for years by way of dragging the case by way of troubling the others you are not going to get anything if the case is dragged on for 5 years 10 years 20 years you may think that you have spoiled the life of your opponent for 5 years 10 years 20 years but what really happens you are spoiling your own life your own time your own energy everything just because of the hurt which is received by your opponent you are not going to be happy you will also feel at one point of them that you have wasted your time you have wasted life the life which is gone has gone it will not come back right so if you fight for a to try 5 years or 10 years for your divorce case can you get the youth can you get the life can you get the can you get back your memorable energy or life which is unnecessarily dragged on lost during this court proceedings no whatever lost is lost you cannot get back so my humble advice is that if you decide to put an end to your married life if you decide to go for a divorce don't think about your ego don't think that you are great or you don't think that you will not allow the other person to be great who is great you are not great your opponent is not great god alone is great right alhamdulillah god is great that is a proverb given in quran so you are not a big man your opponent is not a big big people then why should you think about you we should do you fight for your ego so my humble advice is that try to solve your misunderstanding between your husband and wife and to separate your life and to have a peaceful married life if you are able to resolve sort out the misunderstanding dispute between the husband and wife you can lead a comfortable life putting an end to a married life or getting a divorce is not a proper is not a best solution even if you go for another marriage you will have the same set of problems the man the thinking of a man is in one way and the thinking of a woman is totally different the man always will think about his solution 
whenever a problem comes the man will think what is the solution what is the result in that way he will think but the ladies is the thinking of the ladies is totally different they will worry they will worry about the cause they will think they will never really expect only the love and affection care from the husband and from the relatives they will not think about the proper solutions a immediate solution they won't expect that they want they only want support moral support moral support kindness care etc so whenever there is a dis- difference of opinion you try to resolve it and if it is not practically possible and you have decided to go for a divorce or if you feel that it is not practically possible to live as a husband and wife even in that case go for a divorce in an amicable way husband and wife sit together discuss yourself discuss your terms discuss your properties okay i will let us put an end to your marriage life let us declare a divorce i will pay this much of compensation these are the things you take these are the things i will take i am getting this much of salary this much of income for from from my, from my income i will pay this much of amount towards your maintenance you take that amount anyhow at one point out of the court will decide and we will fix some amount as maintenance or some amount as settlement to our wife you cannot escape from the clutches of law by adopting foul play or tactics you just consult your lawyer consult your advocate and see what will be the consequence what will be the decision of the court after 2 or 3 years this will be the judgment this will be the terms so you stick on then you negotiate with each other and find out a solution find out a settlement and file once you arrive at settlement arrive a compromise then file a petition for divorce by mutual consent divorce for mutual consent is available to all the parties whether you are a hindu whether you are a muslim or whether you are a christian if you file a petition for divorce by mutual consent you will have to attend the court only for 2 days one day you will have to go to the court and file the present file the petition in person just 5 minutes time just 5 minutes time is required to comply this day so you will have to file a petition you will have to file a compromise terms and conditions so both of them have agree for compromise both of them agree for divorce and this will be the terms of our uh, agreement so they will he will pay this much i will take this property he will take this property he will pay this much of the maintenance like what everything mentioned in your petition for divorce by mutual consent and in the memorandum of compromise and file it once it is filed then the court will fix one day that day you will have to go on appear before the court and you have to tell the court that yes i am the party we have signed this petition i have agree for the terms and condition mentioned in my memorandum of compromise or in the petition for mutual consent if both the parties personally appear before the court and say yes we agree for this divorce by mutual consent uh, this is the terms then court will simply pass order on the basis of your petition if you agree for a maintenance of rupees 10000 per month the court will accept if you agree for maintenance of 1 lakh per month that will also court accept if you agree for maintenance for 1000 rupees per month that will also agree court will accept if you agree that i will not ask for maintenance that also court will accept so there is no issues to be decided to be tried by the court the court the, the court has no uh, job the court will only s- look into the fact whether you really agreed for that 
whether whether you you really signed the petition whether you really agreed for the terms and condition mentioned in the agreement then court will pass it so whenever you want to go for a divorce discuss with husband and wife and to find out the terms and conditions for your amicable divorce by mutual consent if it is not practically possible to you to discuss the things in person you would appoint one person as a mediator you depute one person as a from your relatives or friends let the other party uh, may also appoint one person as a mediator or relative or friend or you, both of you may commonly appoint a person as a mediator and let them negotiate with each other and find an amicable settlement then once the terms and condition is finalized then file a petition for divorce by mutual consent mentioning all the terms and conditions are agreed between the parties supposing the party didn't agree you are you are approaching the other party is other party is not willing for a compromise and is not willing for to file for a divorce and ultimately you file a petition for divorce in the court in that case also it is always open to you to go and negotiate with your opponent even during the pendency of the case divorce case you can discuss with the opponent party or your relative or friend can discuss with the opponent party or you can advise or ask your lawyer to discuss with your opponent party or uh, you can ask your advocate to negotiate with the other advocate other side advocate and both are and ask the advocates to discuss with each other and to find out a common agreed terms if that type of exercise is made then in that case also during the pendency of the case also you can file a another petition for compromise or you can withdraw your original petition and file fresh petition for divorce by mutual consent and you can close the case in one day so if you file a case for divorce for mutual consent the time required the time you have to spend is only 2 days one day you have to file the petition for that you have to go on appear before the court and spend 5 5 minutes the second time the court will call you and to check whether you have signed this you have this document and you are agreed for the all the terms and conditions in this document once you say that yes we have agreed for the terms and conditions mentioned in your compromise and we have we are the parties signed this document the court will simply say pass an order divers order as per the terms and conditions of the your compromise or competition bar the terms and conditions of the petitions terms and conditions mentioned in your petition so this is the way most of the people do not aware about these things they do not know the consequences they do not know the ultimate result of your the dragging of the case why should you unnecessarily wait and go and spend time in the court the court doesn't have time if you go through the family court act it initially did not permits even an advocate to attend the court even now the parties has to file a petitions seeking the permission of the court to engage an advocate to help the parties to complete the procedures and formalities the court they are asking the parties to negotiate with each other they are conducting counseling one retired judge will come he will ask both the parties to come for an amicable settlement they will give three or four opportunities then they may also ref- the court uh, the court is also referring the matter to lok adalat where the parties are permitted to to talk with each other and the mediators are also trying their effort 
to mediate the terms and conditions between the parties and they are trying to arrive an amicable settlement and they are trying to get a amicable terms and conditions which are agreeable between the parties if such things are possible they are filing the agreed memorandum of agreement agreeing the terms and conditions of the parties and the basis of the court pass order so once you decided to go for a divorce the best way is is to negotiate with each other for the terms and conditions of a divorce and file a petition for divorce by mutual consent supposing that is not practically possible and you file a petition even in that case you try your effort to arrive for a compromise with the opponent in that the ego of the party alone prevents you from approaching the other party and arriving for a compromise supposing they ask some money some additional benefits you take that thing as a price for your peace supposing you they are the other parties are asking you are ready to pay a maintenance of rupees 5000 rupees per month the other parties are asking 10000 rupees per month as a maintenance negotiate with the parties and arrive for an amicable settlement of 7500 and you think and take this additional amount as a price as a price for peace understand so the settlement amicable settlement alone is the best way to put an end to our torture harassment etc so once even the divorce is completed in a peaceful manner you can think about your future you can work you can spend your time in another way you can you can you can go to the job and you can earn money and you can utilize the time which is unnecessary to be spent for the court or in the proceedings it is beneficial to both the parties so if a party is not understanding the other just try to un- make them understand you can you, you can even you can ask your advocate you can ask your advocate to negotiate with the other party to reach an amicable settlement that alone will give you a best solution best immediate solution best life best solution to your life so i hope this is useful to you and you will like this messages share in this video if you like this message give a like knowledge life knowledge is power legal knowledge is will not only give the power but also give a confidence in your life so you may continue you may watch my videos regularly and you can gain not only the knowledge but also gain confidence in your life so if you have any other doubt you can also consult me over phone or in person for which you may contact my number okay i i hope i can come with another topic till then goodbye azia kali